Hey guys, welcome to Tech Insider channel. Hope you all doing well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a collaboratory uh, workspace in Google Drive for your uh, machine learning or data science project. So all you know that uh, Colab is in uh, like freely available and uh, environment like uh, you can run any deep learning or machine learning projects it's like the same uh, as Jupyter and uh, uh, it's like same as similar to Jupyter environment like how you, you can change uh, how you can edit and uh, run and uh, execute everything code in Jupyter same thing you can do in collaborative notebooks and it's maintained by Google so okay guys uh, let's uh, start it so uh, also along with this uh, crea uh, creating environment uh, I mean workspace I will also show you how you can uh, connect your connect your uh, collaboratory notebook to your Google Drive files and how, how you can access from there okay so guys for this we need a Gmail account if you don't have a Gmail account you can just create and once you create you will just have to open Google Drive so first uh, I have opened uh, Google Drive so my account Google Drive so here you can create uh, we'll have workspace once you create it uh, yeah it's creating yeah so now you can create a folders like uh, so in any typical project machine learning project these three will be the common folders one is data then models then uh, one more is notebooks so data so in notebooks I will create one uh, collaboratory notebooks so you can go to here and you can select Google Colab uh, collaboratory so guys uh, if you log in first time in Google Drive you might not uh, not see this uh, option Google Lab collaboratory so you will see only other option so for this to get this so uh, you have to go to connect more apps so it's like a uh, store app store so here you just type collab so you will get a uh, you can see collaboratory here so now you, you can just uh, here yeah, I have already installed you can for uh, in case for your you, you will see the option click here to install you just have to install this once you install this then only you can see that uh, option this option Google Code so I uh, will just click this and it will create an uh, empty notebook and also it will initialize the runtime for the notebook so once you see once the notebook is created you just change you can change the name here and here you can see the notebook file if I refresh you can be able to see yeah, uh, notebook is there, but to, again, if you refresh, it will change the name of the file. So, yeah, uh, guys, uh, I told you right, like uh, to connect uh, this notebook to Google Drive, your Google Drive files. So, what you have to do is see, uh, there is a two options one is manual connecting, and one other one is uh, by using Drive package from Google. Co uh, drive model from google.colab package so first i'll go first i'll show you how to connect uh, this google drive to jupyter manually so you just have to clear, uh, click the mount drive here so once you click that it will give a pop up to give the permission just click connect to google drive once you done that then uh, here you can see mounting google drive uh, yeah now once this is done you can just refresh if you if you 
don't see this drive option here folder here you can just refresh and you will get to see that so here you can see all the folders I had created there under my drive and under collab uh, data models everything so so now what I will show is uh, I'll just uh, I import one file here so first let me upload that file so here uh, and go data folder I'll upload on CSV for example CSV file wait for it to upload yeah it's uploaded now and the, I'll just import pandas pandas as pg then load the So, guys, uh, just don't type everything like drive, my drive for the uh, file. We just have to go uh, refresh here because I have uploaded there. Once you refresh that, you will get to see the data file here. Uh, yeah. Now, if you see this here, you can just copy that path, path from that option, then paste it here. Then uh, it will load the data you can see the data here also you see yeah you can see so now uh, I'll unmount it so now what I will do is I'll show the second method that I, sh I told you before that uh, impo uh, connecting Google and uh, this no notebook to Google Drive by importing package drive so I'll load the package from google dot colab import drive next drive dot mod uh, root content g drive okay this is guys you, you just have to run this then uh, then uh, it will uh, it will ask you to go to this browser and copy the uh, and uh, give the permission necessary permission you know like when you uh, try to connect, when we mounted with uh, when we connected that google drive to jupyter with uh, manually we saw some pop up to provide the permission so this is same thing just go to this link select the account which one you have logged into then once you select that account good jeep google drive account then you have to allow give the permission necessary permission then you will uh, see some some kind of uh, code here authentication code yeah so you just have to copy this then Press here, press here, then press enter. Yeah, that's it, guys. It's mounted. You can just refresh. You can see a G drive. So before, when you mount it, it will show you drive, then my drive, like that. But when you mount it through uh, this package, it will start with G drive, then my drive, then workspace, then data folder. So same thing and also this time this path uh, this path will be changed so we have to again go to the go to the data folder copy file path then again change this file path then run this guys you can see this it's working perfect so same thing like you can just execute whatever you are uh, like how you 
uh, run all the how you write the code in Jupyter notebook and and also modeling training everything I can do it's faster than your notebook also like your local file local environment mm, that's it guys this is what I want to show you in this video thanks for watching this video guys please like share and uh, subscribe this channel for more videos